Yo what is up guys welcome back to a brand new video and today is another video on performance gains from the Yuzu team. We're still waiting on Project Hades if you don't know what that is it's a shader decompiler rewrite uh, it will make everything a lot faster but while we wait for that they already put something out and uh, it is fast mem support. A fast mem stands for fast memory axis something like that. All right, so basically FastMem, it uses a technology which is like virtual memory, which will translate to the actual RAM, which would be in the Switch or in your PC in this case. And uh, yeah, if you want to learn about it in depth, uh, just go to uh, this uh, link. But yeah, basically the game reads and writes a lot of the time and it will go through your actual RAM. So that is a lot of work. It happens millions of times per frame. Uh, that they need to decode stuff so yeah basically they'll emulate the uh, switch games as addressable memory uh, on the host so on yuzu itself and windows or linux of course so it doesn't have to do that all the time from your actual ram they explain how it's basically less cpu instructions like three times less so yeah it, it is uh, good again you can read it all right, so now the fun part. What does this all mean in terms of performance? So basically normal GPU accuracy no longer triggers some weird stuff. And then now the Smash character selection screen is actually running 10 to 20 FPS better to a full 60 FPS like it should. Now they also did game benchmarks with the recommended specs that are on their site. So they got a Ryzen 5 3600, a GTX 1060, because it's the most used card on the Steam surveys, blah, blah, blah. 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's pretty damn fast RAM though, like 3600 megahertz. But uh, trust me, I don't think RAM is the big player here, even though this is about memory. And they did all the testing at only 2.4 gigahertz. So if you've seen my free versus 4 versus 5 gigahertz video, you'll know that 2.4 gigahertz is really low. Like, trust me, most CPUs boost to at least 3.2 gigahertz. Now, anyways, in terms of numbers, on Mario Bowser's Fury, it basically got a 30% FPS boost, more than 30%. Now, in Super Mario Odyssey, the Sand Kingdom, it basically had a 15% boost and in the seaside kingdom on super mario odyssey they have about a 20 to 30 percent boost in fps since the fast memory was on and we got another like 30 to 40 percent boost here as well now basically they said they saw a 15 to 60 percent boost in the most demanding areas of the gameplay and i mean in animal crossing new horizons it actually made the difference between having 60 FPS or not. Now the question is, is the game 30 FPS locked because they unlocked the FPS here to test. But yeah, again, this is all at 2.4 gigahertz. So let's say you actually have a really good gaming PC uh, like me. It is actually twice the gigahertz. Uh, so you would get twice the numbers, roughly, obviously. Now here again, just look at this graph. It's, it's, it's insane from 38 FPS to 60 FPS, 34 to almost 60 FPS, basically a 10% boost here as well, almost 50% boost here as well, 20% boost here, a 25% boost, even more. So yeah, you will get at least 15 to 60% FPS boost in the newest Yuzu EA builds. 1759 or newer so if you don't have that one yet please get it from yuzu's patreon or from the links down below or in my discord server and they will make it available to regular yuzu builds as well so if you like those more just give it a few weeks now before i end the video i want to show you what the best settings are for yuzu to get the most performance out of your system. All right, so I'm in Yuzu Early Access 1760 right now. You're gonna go to configure, make sure multi-core is on, should be on by default. Under CPU, you can put this on accurate or unsafe. If you have trouble, try unsafe, but keep it on accurate. 
Now for graphics, if you don't have shader cache, use Vulkan. If you have an AMD graphics card, use Vulkan. If the games are trippy or not booting, try OpenGL. I like OpenGL more since I have shader cache for most of my games. Make sure these three are checked. And under advanced graphics settings, keep the accuracy level on high and make sure all of these are checked. If you have problems try unchecking the middle two because they're experimental and the anisotropic filtering you can keep it on default i'm gonna put it on 16x now audio doesn't matter and controls you basically already have presets just make sure the green part here is actually checked so your controller is on check out my other guides if you want to know how to actually set the controller after this you press ok and you can launch your game. Basically, some games will work better on Vulkan, some games will work better on OpenGL. So you can also just right click them, go to properties, and change the settings per game. Now that is all for me. Please subscribe, like, and comment down below if this video was helpful. Join my Discord server for new EA builds. I update them more frequently than my description. And you can also chat with me and other people from my Discord. Now, that is all for me. Peace out, guys. Have a great day and peace.